I chose Texas A&M because, well, I didn't I actually didn't even know there was a choice. Uh, so, so I, uh, I, you know, was looking at different schools, but my brother and uh, uh, his then girlfriend, now my sister-in-law, uh, invited me to go to an A&M football game. And so I came up from high school and just the, the wow of everything going on around me. And I said, this, this, is, this is my place, this is my home. I need to get here as quickly as possible. And he never left. <laughs> <laughs> my career has been a blessing. I mean, just the opportunities I've had uh, at Deloitte and the way the firm has allowed me to use my strengths and you know, put me in a position to be successful opportunities to lead different areas of our business. Most currently, I'm, I'm the uh, global leader for our, our, our M&A practice for tax and legal. And the people I get to engage with, it's really what gets me up in the morning and, and, and gets me excited all day. That what I get to do and the people I get to do it with, and some of them Aggies, so, uh, uh, which is outstanding. The, the way A&M prepared me to do the, the, the uh, ability to mobilize people across uh, the world, uh, you know, different levels, my peers, my leaders, you know, our young associates, uh, and, and work with them to, to overcome some challenge or, or win a new uh, uh, proposal. You know, those are all exciting things I get to do on a daily basis. So I, I'm so thankful for a and to prepare me for that. The way we met was uh, I was an intern and saw her around the office and, and you know, was like, I got to get to know this girl. And so uh, I, I, the, my last day of my internship, uh, she's standing at the elevator bay and I had my box with all my stuff to take back to A&M with me because I was on my way back to drive to campus. And, uh, and I asked her her name, I introduced myself. And so that was brief, uh, went back to school, Came back a year later, full time, and a buddy of mine, who's a partner of mine at Deloitte, um, uh, we decided the best way to get to know girls is to coach the girls' softball team. And so Lori was on the, the team, and and, uh, and and the rest is history. And, and, and then she asked me out. No, <laughs> <laughs> I I come from uh, a family of a loving family. My uh, father. Uh, who's no longer with us, but yeah, you know, he was a great influence on me, and um, uh, I'd, I'd like to think that I'm a lot like him. Uh, my mom is an uh, amazing woman, uh, loving mom, and uh, I have two siblings that, you know, I older siblings, so I get to watch them, you know, do a lot of things, and, and it taught me things to do and what not to do, and I think that's really been part of my you know, growth and journey is just, you know, kind of, you know, watching how they've, you know, ma uh, navigated their teenage years and, and, and on, on through college. So, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate to come from a great family, a lot of uh, nieces and, and uh, nephews, Aggies, um, and, uh, you know, Lori's, uh, you know, Lori's family's, uh, uh, there's some Aggies in there as well. My, my father-in-law, a big Aggie. Um, so very, uh, very fortunate to be uh, around a loving family. We met at Arthur Anderson when he was a staff person because I don't remember meeting him when he was an intern. <laughs> <laughs> but I quickly, um, I quickly grew to really enjoy being around him and, and you know, the softball, you know, his love of sports and anything Aggie related, Aggie football. Um, you know, we, that was kind of one of the first things that he told me was that he was glad that I went to Baylor because if I had gone to UT, I would not have scored the first date. <laughs> so um, I've quickly, you know, been initiated as a, as a fellow Aggie, I think, in many ways. I like to define leadership as starting with servant leadership. And, um, you know, I've always tell our young folks that, 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 that ask me about, you know, how do I become a leader? And I always tell them that a leader is all about serving other people and helping them to achieve their goals. And people will follow you when they know that you care more about their outcome and their career than your own. And that's, that's when you develop followership. And so yeah, I think that's what, I got a lot from A&M out of that. So that you know, I, 
all the organizations I was a part of on campus, uh, the teamwork, being for each other, uh, that has really translated into how I approach um, you know, my leadership uh, every day at Deloitte. Uh, at Texas A&M, I was uh, in a lot of different student organizations, so I participated in fish camp for a few years. I was a, a counselor uh, as well as an attendee, um, so a counselor a couple of years. I had an opportunity to be a uh, co-chair, and, and that's you know, something I wish I had done. Uh, I wish I could go back and, and experience that. Um, and I was in student government. I was a senator. Uh, on campus. I, I was in a fraternity. I started a, a fraternity. I chartered uh, Pi Kappa Phi uh, on the campus um, and uh, big event, bonfire, you know, so I, I signed up for a lot of things uh, during, during my time. So Beta Alpha Psi and the accounting program. You led student tours. I was a tour guide on campus and uh, I guess my claim to fame is I gave Peyton Manning, uh, Peyton Manning his tour of the campus, so I, I guess I didn't do that good of a job. Uh, so Archie and Peyton, uh, so uh, was the one that got away. <laughs> what, what drives us to give back is a passion for the university and Lori's support of that passion. And uh, really a desire to see A&M, you know, ex uh, differentiated amongst peer universities. So. You know, I love the fact that, that a lot of us, uh, a lot of the Aggies that, are, that you know, work together you know, to support Mays, you know, that we are pretty locked arm in arm uh, wanting to see A&M be the number one choice, uh, you know, for, for business students. And, uh, and so that's kind of the, the North Star. And, and then, you know, coming out of that are things like supporting the Wainer expansion, supporting FEA scholarships to give get more folks the opportunity to experience the great um, you know the great university that I had the had the opportunity to go to so um, that's that's really the motivation behind it I love like I love seeing the connection that he has we've we've gotten to know so many different students and and professors and um, you know different people within Mays and I've just seen that what it has done for his career and just for his life, what his background and, and his passion for the school. And I think he is passionate about wanting other people to have that same feeling of love towards this university. And I think the more that we can give, give to help support that and other people, just it um, kind of helps him with his, develop his legacy and what, what he's all about. Uh, you know, some of them are going to be in the room with us the, uh, the night of the yeah, you know, we celebrate the dinner, um, but you know, just going back to my time on campus, I mean, certainly had some faculty, you know, Jim Benjamin uh, being one, Austin Daly uh, was another, um, you know, just seeing the things that Eli did as, as dean um, was impactful for me. Uh, but, you know, I've been blessed for, you know, throughout my career with, with a lot of uh, great mentors, sponsors, um, champions, uh, you know, to help me grow, get great experiences, opportunities to lead. Um, some of them are Aggies and some of them weren't Aggies. And so just very fortunate to, to have been surrounded by just great, you know, leaders, partners, mentors. It started with just, you know, rolling up my sleeves and working hard and, and building some, some, some street cred. You know, it's, a, it's a, the first way you can kind of differentiate yourself was to was to show that you, know, you were, were committed to them and their success and, and working hard on, on their project or, or their, uh, their client. And, uh, and then that gave me the opportunity to, to do more. You know, the reward for good service is more opportunities to serve. And the, that's been kind of the mantra uh, for my career is that the more, you know, the more you, know, you are able to deliver, the more folks want you to, uh, to deliver. So, um, so that's uh, been you know, part of how I've uh, uh, de you know, developed in my career. You know, what it means to me to be uh, named an outstanding alumni, I mean, I don't even know where to start on that. Um, first of all, you know, thanks to Lori for reach reaching out to people and the, it was a great surprise uh, you know, getting people that I admire so much to take the time you know, to, um, to, to 
you know, to, you know, nominate me is just amazing in itself. But um, just what a great honor and I'm grateful, I'm humbled. Uh, it's just, a, just, I could, I would never believed that uh, we'd be, you know, we'd be doing this, so. Yeah, so I think that's one of the neatest things about this is that he would never seek this for himself and he's incredibly humble and there have been so many times just even in his career that he had opportunities to shine a light on himself and he refuses to. So I think that's, that's what makes this fun for me to see too is that he's kind of being forced to, you know, accept some, some recognition for what he does, you know, behind the scenes and, and the school that he loves so much. You know, I had a leader, a partner, a friend um, that, you know, we're still friends, you know, we're still very close today. You know, he, you know, he had a saying, he said, you know, you know, and this actually was the theme of my partner candidacy when I was up for partner. Uh, it was uh, win as a team, uh, do the right thing, and, sh and give all the credit. So I guess that, that's been... Kind of the, the drama of beat two is is, uh, is is you know teamwork, you know give you know help your client or your partner or your team, let them shine. Um, the right I feel like the right people always know what you're doing. Like if you're it, sometimes they don't and that's okay. It's a you know we'll it'll all kind of come back. Um, but the uh, you know in my experience you know there's always there's always someone that kind of knows how, you know, what you're doing and, and the value you're bringing. And, and uh, you know, that doesn't mean don't champion yourself. Don't, you know, don't, you know, uh, advocate for yourself. But, but usually the, the right people know what you're doing and, and are, 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 are there to support you. In terms of our legacy, you know, I hope, um, you know, from, I hope our kids, I hope our family, you know, remembers us as being, you know, generous, fun, kind, fun, you know, that, that, that we, you know, tried to have fun together, that we support each other, that, you know, I, I would hope people would say that, you know, I, like if I had something, a challenge, I needed something done that had great odds against it, that, you know, I, I wanted Brian there to help, help me through it. Um, so, that, that, those are some of the things that... And I think anyone that knows Brian will know he's an Aggie. Like, <laughs> if, if you don't know he's an Aggie, you don't know him. So, and then just love of family and faith and school, I think, are the, the main drivers. And I think when you have kind of the purest intentions in what you do, I think you find success in the things like your business and, and work because he's not doing it for self-glorification. He's doing it to... Like he said, serve serve others. I can't get enough of my kids. Um, I'm so proud of both of them. My, you know, I'm, they're my greatest success. And you know, the thought of not maybe maybe not having any of them be Aggies is someday there is will a, be grandchildren. Is, is, a, is you know, might would be my greatest failure. Uh, but uh, they're um, they're just amazing kids. I'm so my daughter is such a you know. She, there's a lot of me and her she's a, a athlete she works really hard um, she's an overachiever um, and you know my son is brilliant creative um, just so much fun to be around and uh, I just love my time with with him and I love my time with both of them so uh, I, I can't I just can't get enough of them <laughs> and you <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the day of the week. <laughs> um, yeah, they're they're awesome, and they they I see so many things of you in in the things that they do. Hannah is great with people, and she will carry on his ability to manage um, you know large groups. And Seth, we don't know where he gets his brilliance from. <laughs> it's not either one of us, but. Um, you know, he's, we don't understand half of the things that he knows and can understand. And, and they both, they both love A&M because of their dad and whether they go there or not, I think they, it's, it's special. You know, she, she comes back and comes to the football games with us and, and they, they love it in their own way. And I think that is a legacy that 
you know, that you have. And you can work on grandchildren someday. <laughs> Hopefully lots. <laughs>